My life has been uh, upended. On the one hand, I want to be there with my cousin uh, and her two eight-year-old boys that escaped the kill zone. I wanted to attend the funeral of a friend of mine from high school, or with my mother who's currently sitting in a bomb shelter. She's 70 years old. This was an act of horror. Period. Nico Black is an Israeli currently living in Cincinnati. He's frustrated, not just because all of his loved ones are in danger and a world away, but because he's constantly finding false information being liked or shared on social media platforms. Be aware you are being manipulated 100% because it's in the interests of multiple parties to do that. And Leila Sheikh, the president for UC Students for Justice in Palestine in Cincinnati, feels a deep sadness. We've looked into their eyes, visited their houses. These are our family, these are our friends. But that sadness is countered with anger, as she too is experiencing some backlash in her everyday life because of false information. Our safety has been extremely threatened. President Biden even went out and said that you know, there was 40 babies beheaded, and then later his administration said that there's no actual evidence, like he didn't see anything. Dr. Jeffrey Blevins, a professor for public and international affairs at UC, says this is already a complex and complicated conflict with years of history. And as you try to make sense of it and wade through countless reports and posts, you need to be skeptical. One of these uh, videos, uh, it, for instance, uh, it looks like it comes from BBC which is, of course, a reputable uh, news outlet. But essentially, they just took BBC's logo and, and put it on uh, this video, which falsely suggesting that Ukraine had provided the weaponry to uh, Hamas uh, to, you know, to, to help pull off this attack in Israel. I think they shouldn't just be sharing it for the sake of sharing it, or maybe ask themselves, what is the reason for me sharing this? Is it to further prospects for peace and understanding, create space for dialogue. Before you hit a reshare button, take a second to do your own research. Facebook, TikTok, X, and Instagram have been called out by the European Union for their failure to stop misleading or allowing illegal content about the war on their platforms. Some things you can do to not fall victim to fake information is make sure you're getting stories from accredited institutions with oversight, like the Associated Press or TV news networks. If something looks suspicious, call the news organization's tip line or email them. You can also always use a reverse image search on Google to see if the picture is legitimate. And if something horrific is happening, more than one news source will likely report on it. If you see something and you are outraged by it, you should be skeptical. Is someone trying to persuade me, manipulate me to believe something that's not necessarily true? Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.